Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's my goal on the internet to reduce the stigma against schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder by talking about relatively normal things. And today is my first update for that Panda Eyeshadow Project for the month of, or for the year of 2022. Um, this is the February update, so before we get into that, hello, my name is Kayla, and I hope you stick around, give this video a like, and subscribe. I do upload two or three times a week. So overall, panning-wise, uh, this month was kind of abysmal. Granted, I did have a week where I did not bring any of my shadow, my panning shadows. I just didn't want to bring them, bring them on vacation. It just wasn't something I was really interested in. And a couple of the palettes are really fragile, so I didn't want to try screwing them up by traveling. Even though I had zero casualties in traveling, I still didn't want to risk it. So let's start off with the... Start off with curse words. I try not to curse on my channel, but there's going to be a lot of cursing in these videos because... It's just the cards I've been dealt. It's the BH Cosmetics Fuck Off palette. I chose the, um, and so you know, for all of my videos, I randomized the palettes and I picked the individual shadows within the palette to work on. That's how I do this project. So I got the Fuck Off palette drawn in and I chose the shadow K by, and I use this shadow next to no times. Um, let's check on my list. Did I even... Okay, so I used this shadow five times and it does not look like I used it at all. It just, I don't know why, I, I feel like I should switch shadows in this palette to work on. But we're going to keep this k by shadow in. I mean, it's just a light cream shade. Oh, it's so easy. You could just use it to set your eye primer. I don't do that. I tried doing it a couple times, and it's just kind of hard to remember to do that. And honestly, I just don't really care for this palette in general. So it was just a little bit challenging to use. Um, next, actually, let's go to the Super Shock shadow. So... I'm making it my goal this entire year to hit pan in all of my Super Shock eyeshadows. I don't have that many, even though I just brought in a couple new ones, but I want to hit pan on all of them, and I chose this first one the from the Raw Beauty Christie sh um, collection, Like a Moss, and I did hit pan in it, so do a little bit. It only took me three times to hit pan. I know these shadows are really easy to hit pan on, so I'm not surprised. Um, it was just something I wanted to get more use out of for um, this month, and I did, and I really enjoy that shadow. It's just really pretty, adds a nice little sheen, a little bit of a light duochrome effect. It's a really nice shadow, so can't really complain much there. I used, yeah, I used it four times. Okay, no, I used it four Ooh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm all over the place. Okay, next is from the Serenity palette from Menagerie um, and Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. So for this palette, I chose the bright yellow shade, which is called Sunbeam. Really pretty yellow, very intense. I used this shadow. Oh my gosh, where is it? I know I have it. I used this shadow only three times. So like I said, panning wise, this was not the best month for me, but... I think I can hit pan on this. If I put a lot of effort into it, I think I could hit pan on this relatively quickly. It's a pretty soft shadow um, and really intense as you can tell. So I think I might just try to make this the shadow for the next month to really hone in on and really try to use um, because I definitely didn't do it this month at all. Usually like last month I was really, or last year, I was like using each shadow like 10 times per month and I don't know what happened in the last few months of the year and going into this year I was just like I don't want to reach for the shit. Um, that's honestly. Let's go back to um, a single which is my Essence Metal Chrome shadow. This is in the shade Ionic and I use this shadow two times and I want to hit paint on it. And I only use the toys. Um, so this is going to be going for a long haul. But it's such a pretty shadow. Like it's gorgeous. So I just need to use it more. I need to. I think what's going to be best for me. Honestly. Is just to kind of do spotlight looks. Where I only show off like one shadow at a time. It's not going to be the best for panning purposes. But in terms of ease. And trying to make sure I'm getting a lot of use out of these products. It might be best for just me to do that. Um, next palette is FRSI by Raw Beauty Christy. Um, so I chose the shadow Fiddlehead, but I think I'm going to switch it to West Coast because I just don't feel inspired to use this green. I see it and I'm just like, no, I don't want to use it. Um, it does, I don't know what to do with this palette. Should I just pick another brand new color? Um, actually, let's go... 
on hip pan and Amanita. So um, Fiddlehead, I used five times, but I'm going to switch it to this deep purple. Oh yeah, that's going to be, that's going to be awesome. So we're going to switch it to this shadow um, because I do choose the palettes um, because I do individually choose the shadows. I can change it up. So we're going to go with this shadow, which I just decided on. I was kind of debating between other two shadows in here, but I think this is going to be a really fun kind of shadow to smoke out to do really fun, like kind of deep purple looks. And it's going to go with the other shadows better in my opinion. So that's just a switch up. Um, just want to change it and do something better. And then something, uh, the big finale, the big deal that I am excited about is from my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This is going to be really hard to see, but I hit pan in this shadow right here. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. So I really use this for winged eyeliner. That's why I was able to get such a quick dip and actually hit pan so quickly because I was really digging in that one specific spot to really smoke out and do different winged eyeliner looks. So that's why I hit, was focusing on this shadow. I only had to use it eight times to hit pan. If I use it more as kind of a blending kind of shadow, it would have taken a lot longer, but because of my specific purpose, um, I think it fared pretty well with given everything. So we get to roll in um, two new shadows, which um, um, starting with the ColourPop Super Shock, it's going to be Cosmic Charge, which is um, my oldest ColourPop Super Shock shadow that I need to hit pan on. So honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I hit pan on it trying to swatch it. Honestly. Oh, it has a lot of the purple in it. Ah, uh, yep. I need to redo that swatch because it had a lot of that purple. So let's try to use a different finger. Did I just hit pan on this? I think I just hit pin on this. Yeah, I just did. Okay. Well, I just hit pan. Yeah, it's still not chewing tissue colors because of the purple underneath it. But I... Did I just hit pan on this? Yeah, I just did. Well, we're going to make this a usage goal of five times, okay? Because... That literally just happened. I'm not surprised by that at all. So, uh, usage goal on Cosmic Charge. These are really easy to hit pan on. I'm not trying to use them up, but let's now go to my randomization app. Okay, so I add one more palette. I hate the sound on these stupid things. Colourpop Fade Into Hue. Okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> this big bad boy. Okay, 30 shades to choose from. Um, is it bad that I wanna use a pressed glitter? Cause I know those are easy to hit pan on. I kinda wanna do a pressed glitter. Um, because honestly, I kinda miss using pressed glitters all the time. Um, I think they're really fun and they add some more dimension to the look that I'm not really doing on my own. Um, mattes are really hard to pan. I kind of want to do a press glitter. I kind of want to do a lucky charm. This is going to be a mistake. Um, it's just like, do I really want to use press glitter enough to like try to hit pan in it? Because that's going to be such a pain. I mean, it's a very pretty press glitter. Like, I'm not dogging it for that. It's just, do I want to really do a press glitter? Oh, but it's so pretty. Oh, it's such a pretty and it'd be so special. Oh, what do I do? You know what? I am gonna go with a press glitter. I'm kind of swatching the shadows and I, I think I think a press glitter is gonna be a fun way to go. So I'm going to go with the shadow So Precious. It's kind of more of a microfine glitter, so it's not super intense because Kaleidoscope is chunky as hell. Um, Lucky Charm and Prismatic, like they're kind of just chunky glitter. So I think So Precious is gonna be a fun glitter to use for this project. Um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it. I need to swatch it on my hand. <laughs> okay, I was kind of taking like a minute to swatch everything out, but yeah, I think it's just gonna be fun to add a little bit of sparkle. It is pretty smooth press glitter, and I mean, obviously it's like an eye safety hazard, but I don't know, just something about a press glitter. See, it's like shifts orange, and it doesn't really look like a press glitter from far away. And it's gonna pair really nicely with the yellow. I can top it on top of the silver. Um, 
yeah, so let's try to make this a little bit better. <laughs> uh, press pleasures is going to be my life for a few months, but there we go. This is my color story. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, let me know how, if you are doing this um, project, let me know how it's going for you. What, are you having a pretty successful month? Are you just kind of struggling like I am to figure out looks? Um, let me know either way, and as always, have joy.